Good morning friends. I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, we will construct a minimal DFA over alphabets A comma B for a long base L containing strings start with B A. So they are asking us, if you have a string, it should always, the string should start with B A. So those strings only will be uh, belongs to long base L on alphabets A comma B. So now first we will find the strings, which are the strings possible in the long base L. So the long base L consists of BA string because BA will start with BA. Then you will have BAA, BAB, BAAB, anything. After BA, anything can come BA, AAA, so on. So it is an infinite long base. If it is an infinite long base, there may be a DFA is possible or there may not be a DFA. If a DFA is available, what is the DFA? We will check it now. So as the smallest string is BA, so we will construct the skeleton BA, DFA. So we will take the smallest string and we will construct the skeleton DFA. Means the basic DFA we will go ahead to make it the process simple. Is it clear? Any DFA while you are constructing, take the smallest one and first construct that one. So you got BA, so from Q0 on B, I am going to Q1, Q1 on A, I am going to Q2. So BA is accepted. Now we have to see on Q0, on Q0, A and B should come because, because the thing is that from unity state on each alphabet, you should have a transition. So the alphabets are A comma B. So we have represented a move from Q0 on B. Now on A what will happen? Now if you see that any string can start with A. Because they mentioned that it should start with B A. So if it starts with A, it is does not belong to long as L. So what my point is that if I say that A B. A B is a string does not belong to. Or A A. A, B, A. These kind of strings are not possible. If I have a A here, then it will be A, B, A. So, which is starting with A, B. So, A, B starting with A, B is not possible because any string which belongs to long base L should always start with B, A. So, then what should I do? I have to, whenever a A is coming, it should go to a some dead state. What is the dead state? And what is the use of it? We have already discussed in our previous video. So that's why I'm not giving much importance on the explanation regarding the dead state. Okay. Now we will see. So Q0 on A and B we have discussed. Now what about on B? If any B comes here, meaning is that after B, if a B comes here, it is spoiling our notation because it always it should start with B A. So if again any B after B, if a B A like that if string is there, then it is not the current string which does not belong to long base L because any string which should start with B A. So what happens? If I have a B here, it will spoil my entire thing. So I will go to a dead state because after B again B should not start. After B a only should come. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? If again B comes here, it will spoil the entire thing. So, if you have B, A, then B, B, A, B, B, A, A, these are the strings which are starting with B, B. But we should start with B, string called B, A. So, it is spoiling the notation. So, that's why on B, you should go to the dead state. Now we will see on A and B what will happen here. Now we got B A. If we got another A, we does not worry because it is already starting with B A. So B A A A A or B A A B B A B B B. So all these things will not create any problem for me. So the thing is that if I got a B A. After that, any number of A's, it does not create any problem. So, I can have a A here because it is starting with B A. After that, anything can come. See, the simple representation of B starting with B A is, it should start with B A. After that, anything can come. 
So once you reach the BA, you started because once you reach to the state called Q2, then the meaning is that you have traversed already BA. If anything else comes, you are going to the state called that state which is D. So if BA, any number of A's comes, it's not a problem. So I am keeping in Q2 itself. Now BA, B comes or any number of B's comes, what will happen? It also does not create any problem. It is starting with BA only. So I will keep B here. So if you see that from Q0, what I have done? On A, it is going to that state. On B, it is going to Q1. Then from Q1 on A, it is going to Q2 because the smallest string is BA. So BA is accepted. Once BA is accepted, it starts with BA. After that, anything can come. Either it can be A or it can be a B or it can be any number of A's or any number of B's because those strings are already started with BA. So that's why I kept A comma B here. Now, Q1 on A we have represented. Q1 on B what is happening? If it B should go anywhere, then what will happen? It will start with a string called BB. I don't want that one because all the strings should start with BA. So that's why it should go to the dead state. Now we will check it whether it is correct DFA or not. Now let me take an example. BA, AB. Now BA, AB starts with BA. Am I right? So I can say that this string BA, AB belongs to long base L. So any string which belongs to long base L should accept by the DFA. Let's see whether it is accepting or not. How we will check? We'll start from the initial state Q0. Okay. And we will take the input B and we will check where it is going. Q0 on B, it is going to a state called Q1. Now Q1 on A, from Q1 on A, it is going to a state called Q2. Now Q2 on A, it is going to Q2 itself. Q2 on B, it is going to Q2. Now we will check. From input state Q0, by taking the string called BAAB, what is the state it has reached? It has reached to Q2. If the DFA should accept it, it should reach to the final state. So we will check whether Q2 is a final state or not. How we can check? We have to check the DFA. Any state which is having double circle, we will call it as a final state. So Q2 is a final state. So what I can say? From the input string, input of state Q0, by passing the string, I have reached to the final state. So I can call that the string BAAB is accepted by the DFA. It is correct. Now we will take another example, counter example. ABB. Now ABB is started with AB, but the string should start with BA. So what I can say? The string ABB does not belong to long base L. So any string which does not belong to long base L, my DFA should not accept it. Okay. So how I will check? I will start from initial state Q0. Q0 on A, where I went, to the state D. Now D on B, D on B, I am in the state D only. From D on B, I am reaching to the state D. So whether D is a final state, D is a non-final state. So what I can say, from initial state, on passing the string ABB, we have reached a non-final state. So we can say that it is not accepted. And you can check it. Once you reach it to the dead state, whatever the input you take, it will, you will be in the state called D only or dead state. So that's why it is called as a dead state or trap state. From Once you reach to the state D, you cannot go further anywhere. Because from D, you cannot go anywhere. If you see that, input is only available to the D, but there is no outgoing. Because if you have to go anywhere, you should have a link to Q0 or Q1 somewhere. But on D on A and B, it is there D itself. So we can call it as a dead state or trap state. So this is the correct DFA for string starting with BA. Now we will check another one. We will take another example for better understanding. We will start with ABA. We will start with ABA. We will check it. Now any string 
which belongs to long vessel should always start with ABA. So already we have done with the BA. Now I want to start with ABA. Okay, we will check it what will happen. So the smallest string belongs to long vessel L is ABA. So the pattern is it should start with ABA. After that anything can come. Either it can be A or it can be B or any number of A's or any number of B's. So it is A, B, A, A. So I am start, starting with A, B, A and ending with A. A, B, A, B. Okay. A, B, A, any number of A's. A, B, A, any number of B's. A, B, A, B, B. Already done B, B, A. So on. So what I can say, it is an infinite long ways. Once it is an infinite long ways, we, there may be a DFA or there may not be a DFA. If there is a DFA is available, what is that one? We will check it now. So we, how we will do it? We will take the smallest string possible in the long ways L. So what is the smallest string possible in the long ways L? A, B, A. So first we will construct the skeleton DFA. From Q0 on A, we are reaching to the state called Q1. Q1 on B, we are reaching to a state called Q2. From Q2 on A, we are reaching to a state called Q3. Now Q3 is a final state because from initial state Q0, on taking the string A, B, A, I should accept. When I can say accept, if I reach to the final state, then I can say that it is accepted. So that's why Q3 I made it as final state. Okay, now we will see whether it is a complete DFA. No, because Q0 on B, we did not mention anything. Q1 on A, we did not specify anything. Q2 on B, we did not move any transition. So that's why it is not a complete DFA. Let me finish the DFA. Now remember one thing. Always the string should start with A, B, A. If Q0 on B, what will happen? If I start with B here, then it is not starting with A, B, A because it should start. If it should start with A, B, A, first it should start with A. So on B, we should go from Q0, we should go to a state called dead state A comma. Are you able to understand? Because it should start with A, B, A. If it should start with A, B, A, first it should start with A. So that's why it is starting with A. If it is starting with B, it is wrong. Because it should not start with B, so that's why I have given to a state called D state, which is a dead state. Okay. Now, if you see that Q1, how we have reached after looking the A. So after looking A, it should be B. It should not be A. From Q1, if you got a A, then it will become A A. Okay. So. Then what will happen? Then I need to look at A, B, A. But if you see that it is starting with A, A. But it should start with A, B, A. If it should start with A, B, A. First it should start with A, B. But if I take another A in between, then it is starting with A, A. That it should not happen. So from Q1 on A, you should go to a state called D, which is a dead state. Okay. Now we will see on Q2 what I should do. Now how I reach it to the Q2? By looking the string called AB. Now it should have A then we will accept because we will say that it is starting with AB. But if a B comes right here then what will happen? It is starting with ABB. I don't want it should start with ABA. So if it should start with ABA this should be A not B. So from Q2 on B also, we will go to a state called dead state, which is a D. Now, remember one thing. Once you started with ABA, anything can come here. Once you started with ABA, anything can come after that. It can be number of A's or number of B's. Anything can come and any number of you can get it. So, on A comma B, it will be there in Q3 itself. So, if you see that, whether it is a correct DFA or not, we will check it now. So take the small string which belongs to long vessel. A, B, A, B, I will take it. A, B, A, B is starting with A, B, A. So I can say that this string A, B, A, B belongs to long vessel. Once it is starting with a long ways, belongs to long vessel. L. So I will start from Q0. On A, it is going to Q1. Q0 on A is going to Q1. Q1 
q1 on b it is going to a state called q2 q2 on a is going to state q3 q3 on b it is going to q3 so we are reaching to the final state or non final state q3 is a final state because it is having double circuit so once you reach the final state from the initial state then what we can say the string is accepted by the dfa whatever we have constructed so it is accepting the strings which belongs to long ways l now we will check a string which does not belongs to long ways l let me write it as a b b a b b is not starting with a b a so i can say that it does not belongs to long ways l so let me check it i will start the from the state called q not q not on a i am reaching to a state called q1 q1 on b i am reaching to a state called q2 q2 on b i am going to a state called d now d is a final state or non final state d is a non final state if d is a non final state then what i can say it is not accepted the string is not accepted by the dfa so it is not accepting the strings which does not belongs to long ways l and it is accepting the strings which belongs to long ways l then what i can say for the given long ways this is the dfa now if i you see this one in this example when we are discussing a b a we got how many states we got four states am i right when we are discussing a b a we got how many states five states so what i can say is that if it is starting with n alphabets or if it is starting with 2 you got four states so 2 plus 2 is 4 now if it is starting with three alphabets then 3 plus 2 five states so any substring which starts with consists of n one number of alphabets then the number of states in the minimized dfa is n1 plus 2 remember again this is a substring a b a is a substring so if they ask you in the gate exam the string the long ways l consists of string starting with some substring of length n1 okay then how many minimum number of states will be there in a dfa is n1 plus 2 okay is it clear so i request you to remember this point and note down this point it is very important point because in gate exam they will not ask you to construct the dfa sometimes maximum times they will ask you to find the minimum number of states if it is minimum number of states you should construct the minimum dfa and find the number of states in it so if the string is starting with a if a string is starting with a substring and the substring consists of a length n1 then the minimum number of states in the dfa is n1 plus 2 so note down this point okay i hope you have understood how to start a string with a substring anything like a b a or b a or a anything i request you to practice with more examples for better understanding